The Purge. So this is the 13th episode in uh, Supernatural Season 9, and I think it is proven that it's not an unlucky episode, because I liked it! For a filler, it was really good, um, and it was a, you know, a bit of a strange storyline, like when I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's a bit odd, but it was good, and I really liked it, and I enjoyed it, so that's a good thing, that's a good comeback from last week, where I was just like, it sucks. I'm really sorry if I seem like I have no idea what I'm talking about, it's because I've been ill for the past few days, I didn't want to review Supernatural when I felt ill, I didn't want to do it yesterday when I still felt ill, I still feel ill, but I went to school, so I'm actually in clothes and makeup. So yeah. So basically the episode before, Sam was saying, we can work together, but we are not brothers, dude. No. And so, you know, everyone's a bit like, oh Sam, why would you do that? So they're working together, uh, as you can see, and they find out that all these um, <clears throat> people are dying with about 50 pounds of weight taken off them um, when they're dead. So that's kind of weird. You know, one guy is an eating contest champion slash cheater because he hid one of them hot dogs in his pockets. Stupid guy. Oh, the other one is a woman who was trying to lose some weight for her wedding. It's very sad, actually. <laughs> we find out that there are these weird um, suction marks on their backs, um, which is meant to be from the cupping treatment. Um, and both all the victims and people at this special spa that Sam and Dean go to work at um, have on them. Yeah. Sam becomes a fitness instructor. <laughs> Dean um, is a dinner lady, basically. <laughs> ha! Yeah. We find out that it's a like a South American lady who is a like a fish tug or something. A fish taco! <laughs> and basically she lives by eating body fat. Oh! Yeah, she's good. She um, only takes a little bit at a time, and that's how people lose weight at this spa. Um, she literally just takes a little bit of fat and eats it. Ew. It's kind of yucky, but... It turns out she's got a brother who is also one of these fish tacos. <laughs> fish! Tacos, and but he's being bad because he used to help out doing treatment where he used to eat a bit of the people, um, people's fat, and basically he started taking too much and he was like almost killing people and that's really bad. Um, don't do that. So they demote him to a dinner lady and it basically turns out he's been killing all the people because he's a dick. Um, all the food is drugged, which I thought was a bit screwed up. Uh, <laughs> And Dean ends up passing out, and that leads to her some, some hilariosity. Sam is basically even more of a douchebag at the end. Screw you, Sam. Never thought I'd say that. Noisy! Likes. I don't know if any of you guys noticed this, or whether you actually care. Um, but in the scene with, um, in the police office and the donuts, um, in the background there's a trench coat. And I was like, <laughs> it's a trench coat. Trench coat. So I also just really liked that donut scene and Jared himself said he had to walk away to try not to, to you know, to stop laughing so much. Because, funny. And basically the whole time in the, um, spa, I just loved it was just so funny. Hannah uh, shorts. Um, I said that completely wrong. <laughs> nice shorts. Nice hairnet. I loved how Sam quoted, You're not the only one who's ever dated someone bendy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that made me giggle. I generally just loved yoga teacher Sam, and it's only for the pervy reason that biceps... Legs. Mother. Pretty! <laughs> um, basically, Sam, can you just quit your day job and just be a yoga instructor for like the rest of your life? <laughs> I'm just a bit of a creep and found that very attractive. And I'm sure many people did! I just feel really dirty for thinking that. Um, but I can't lie, Jared Padalecki is a very attractive man. And I think many people agree. Um, yeah. 
drug dean was also <laughs> hilarious. Sweet potatoes. The heart to heart between Sam and Dean. Yes, I like the heart to hearts. Even if Sam is a total douchebag, I still, I still like them. I did like how Sam also, although he's saying we're not brothers, dude, you're a liar. Um, not only biologically, but also when he didn't know where Dean was and Dean called him and was just like, blah, 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 blah. Sam was worried, and I'm sorry, but if you don't, if you don't trust him and you're not brothers, then I don't think you'd get that worried. I think you're just being a little bit of a drama queen. You still fucking love your brother, so shut up. But I like that, and I also liked how Sam was telling Dean, "Do do not kill this lady, this fish tacker. Um, she, you know, she's not." She's not bad, she's not hurting people, she's literally doing what she's doing to live, she's not hurting people, she's not killing people. We have killed the bad son of a bitch, we don't need to kill the nice person. Um, so yeah, stop. Dislikes. Ew. 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 I literally nearly threw up about five times in that episode. I just felt so sick. Literally, I just, oh, I just wanted to throw up so many times seeing the jars of the body. I was like, oh, might not have helped that obviously I'm ill. I may not act like I'm ill, but that's because even when I'm ill, I can still be really hyper and really weird. I have written here, Sam, stop being a douchebag! Because yeah, Sam, stop being douchebags. That's what I mean. Um, brackets. Stop saying you deserve to die. Um, he didn't deserve to die. I mean, I respect the fact that he wanted to die, and he did not die when he wanted to die. So you know, you know, I can understand why he's pissed off with Dean about that. You know, saying, you know, I was ready to die, and you didn't let me die. You don't deserve to die. Whether you wanting to die, being ready to die, and deserving to die is a different thing. Different in my opinion at least. So stop it. And what made me sad also was that just Dean's reaction when he when Sam basically said, if we were in the same situation but reversed, if you were the one dying, you were ready to die, I would not save you. I can see where he's coming from. But at the same time I was sort of like would you Sam? Would you? I'm not I'm not asking to put it at the test. I'm not saying like, yeah we need to prove this theory. Um, no, I don't want Dean to be on the brink of death. But, like, I can see what he's saying, but I don't believe him totally when he says, I would not save you. I think he would try his damnedest. But, you know, did I cry? No, it's just a filler episode. It didn't really have much cry-worthy material. Star of the show, I'm boring, and I said Jared and Jensen because they're both awesome. Um, you know, Jared wins it because I'm so shallow. He's <laughs> muscles. Um, and he's just generally adorable in this episode. <laughs> Jensen because drug dean. And for once, I'm actually Team Dean. Like, not saying that I just completely hate Dean. I love Dean, but you know, if I had to pick one of them, it'd be Sam. I'm a Sam girl. I'm so Sam girl. But Sam, you're wrong. <laughs> um, so I'm proper like Dean right now. Star rating, I did four out of five. I, you know, it was it was good, and it wasn't um, as bad as last week. And it wasn't as good as the other episodes that I've put five stars. Like, it's a filler episode, so I wasn't expecting it to be, oh, the best thing in the world. But, um, although a lot of filler episodes have been the best thing in the world, like, seriously. Um, but, you know, it wasn't terrible. And I think four out of five is a good score. That's like eight out of ten. That's good. It's good. 16 out of 20. It's good. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. We are now on hiatus. Uh, for two weeks, um, because of the Winter Olympics. Um, I personally 
I'm not going to watch the Winter Olympics, nor do I really care about the Winter Olympics. But, you know, I suppose they have to cancel Supernatural. Uh, not permanently. For, <laughs> for stuff like this, which really sucks. Um, all I know about the next episode is that Castiel gets captured by Bartholomew the Angel. And Sam and Dean do something and I can't remember what it is. So, I'm really helpful. I know that in the next coming weeks, we are going to have Snooki from Jersey Shore. I'm not sure what to make of that, in honesty. Um, I've seen the thing and I was just like, what? I really hope it's a good episode. I really hope they do not just really screw up. Um, I think it's because one of them mentioned that their wives like watching Jersey Shore and they said something about hun hunting a Snooki, and now they're doing it. I really hope to God they've done this well. <laughs> and they've really not you know, screwed around. And we've also got Misha's episode coming up, which he has directed. He is not in it. He is literally just directed. He think he said he did not want to direct himself, which is fair enough. And so I don't know what the episode's about. All I know is that they've had a crazy time on set. Uh, Jared did a pie to his face. Uh, Dean would be mad. And yeah, so it sounds like a lot of fun. I'll be doing another review in two weeks. Bye!